Gus, you're doing great. You are now shooting like a target archer. So target archery has some specific equipment that we use that hunters are not going to use. One of the first things is going to be our hip quiver. Our hip quiver is where all our gear is, where our arrows are. We're not worried about too much, obviously, banging into trees and stuff, but we don't want it to be so far out there that we're banging into people. Again, it's a pretty crowded space, so we want to make sure that we're somewhat self-contained, but that we also have everything we need right there with us. Target archers also, rather than having a wrist sling like most hunters, a lot of times we're gonna have a finger sling. It's just specific to, uh, I usually only see it in target archers. So just a great piece to make sure that that bow is not getting away from you on the line. You need some custom arrow pins, right? You're an iconic guy, we need to have some target pins that are just yours. So people walk up to the target and be like, wow, that's Gus's target. Not just because all the arrows are in the center, but also the, what's holding it up onto the uh, bale is unique. One thing that target archers have that's a little bit weird is arrow lube. We lube up the tips of our arrows because when they hit that target, a lot of times they want to seal and stick in there. And you don't want to ex be expending all your energy pulling those arrows out. You want to save your arms for good shots, not for dragging arrows out of the target. And so arrow lube makes a difference, it makes it easier, and we can, again, be more consistent with just this silly little thing that we've got stuck in our quiver. Here's a couple pieces of equipment that are exclusive to 3D shooters. Uh, a lot of times 3D shooters are going to have a card attached to their quiver that shows them where the target is on the specific animal, uh, the foam target that they're shooting at. It's not always easy to see, especially if something's 40, 50 yards out there, even with your binoculars when you pull them up. Binoculars, that's another thing that is specific to 3D shooters. When we're shooting indoor spots at 20 yards, we know where that target is, right? It's 20 yards away, we've got lenses, but even if you don't, it's not that far. But 3D shooters, a lot of times, we have those binoculars, they'll make sure, hey, I'm hitting where I need to be hitting, I'm, I'm, I can see what I'm supposed to be hitting. That's a very exclusive thing to the 3D target archers. Range finders. It depends on the venue. Some venues will allow you to use range finders. Some venues, it's an unknown, they call it unknown, and you are not allowed to use any range finders. Uh, so it depends, but 3D archers typically will carry range finders. A seat. I know that seems totally silly, but literally a folding seat, 3D shooters will get, there'll be backups at a target and they'll literally have to wait for their turn to get up to the target. And so they'll have a special seat that will, they'll carry around with them that they can sit back, relax. It can be hot sometimes out there. They want to be able to make good shots when the time is there and so they'll have a seat. They'll also have an umbrella with them. Not only is the umbrella going to shade them from the sun or rain, but they can have an assistant hold the umbrella out in front of their bow to keep the wind from hitting and moving their bow. You know you've been in the tree hunting Gus plenty of times where that wind is just tearing through and it makes it hard to stay steady. Same thing in target archery, but we have the advantage of we can have somebody out there with an umbrella.